just be out with us to the Bahamas. Bahamas are known for their swimming pigs. But in this video, we are going to share with you five reasons why we decided not to swim with the pigs in the Bahamas at this time. Just, just be, be out, out with us. us. If you are new to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we are Just, Just Be, Be Out. Out. We are traveling full time, creating informative travel videos for you so you get the most out of your vacation. So, number one reason we decided not to swim with the pigs at this time is the price. It, I was shocked how much it costs to swim with the pigs in the Bahamas. The prices range starting from $100 and over $500 per person for a one-day tour. So the cheapest tour I found is actually here on NASA. And there is a beach, I'm not going to try to pronounce this name, which is going to leave it right here and they do a tour so this beach is secluded so you technically uh, all the beaches are public here in the bahamas but you cannot get to it unless you come in from the sea so uh, this um, tour is organized by the nearby villagers and it costs a hundred dollars and it basically it includes just for you to go on that beach and take pictures and swim with those pigs and those are just farm pigs that the locals brought there to make an attraction and just to sweeten a deal they also offer their village tour for you I don't know how interesting it is I'm not that interested just to go on the beach pay hundred dollars and take selfies with farm pigs the next range of prices really depends on what the tour has to offer so some tours uh, the more expensive ones have maybe five different stops such as not only swimming with the pigs but you can go to an island where there are a lot of iguanas you can go snorkeling with nurse sharks and also there's a stop where you can snorkel um, at a plane crash um, it's Pablo Escobar's one of Pablo Escobar's airplane that crashed uh, here in the Bahamas and it's underwater and you can go snorkeling above it it's really beautiful that is a full day tour they take you to the Exumas and that cost you over $500 plus tax plus tip and tax here is 10% by the way so the mid-range is from 200 to 350 and the tours that are about $200 will take you to Rose Island. Rose Island is located a 30-minute ferry from NASA to the island. You can just, as far as I know, you can just go to the island. That tour offers you the ferry to go to the island. And it's pretty much just a, an island tour with pigs. So there are pigs on that island. Again, I don't know how long you're actually able to hang out with the pigs, but that tour pretty much consists of the boat ride back and forth to the island and back to NASA, um, hanging out on the beach, beach chairs, umbrellas, uh, and, I uh, and I think they also give you a snorkel set and the pigs are there for you to interact with them as well. So I would definitely like to go to the Exumas and uh, do the tour with multiple stops, but all the snorkeling tours and boat excursions that we've been on did not cost more than $150. So for me, it is a little bit difficult to spend over $500 per person. So that would be over $1,000 for two of us just to go on that tour. And at this moment, it's not worth it for us. The next reason is because they actually breed the pigs. So they make it a tourist attraction. Back in the days how these pigs came about, it just they happened to be on one island, they started breeding and to they learned how to swim. So at first the attraction was just to that one island where the pigs were wild and uh, and were breeding naturally there, but but now the locals are making it such a big tourist attraction and want to capitalize on this experience and so they started bringing just regular farm pigs they breeding pigs and placing them on the beach they training them to go into the water and I'm 
don't really feel comfortable about that. And uh, I read for Rose Island, uh, uh, the island that I just uh, spoke about a little bit earlier, uh, they say that a part of this uh, tour uh, contributes to support the pigs. Well, obviously, yes, they, the pigs need to be supported, but what they do is they say they rescue pigs from local farms. What is that? How do they pigs rescue them need from being slaughtered? On the table I don't know. For bacon. Yeah, how, how how is that a rescue from the farm? When the pig is on the farm, the pig is good. <laughs> so yeah, they rescue them from the farm, train them to interact with lots of tourists every single day, and actually force them to swim. And basically, as tourists, when you go to these interactions, they give you carrots and different things to feed the pigs. So basically, when you come, the pigs know it's going to be lunchtime and they're going to eat. And and that's how you're really interacting with the pigs. The next reason is poop. Everywhere in social media you see this wonderful pictures of people swimming with pigs being in the water but they are animals so when they need to go they need to go so basically a lot of times they poop right in the water and you basically swim with pigs and feces. And it's something that we really don't think about, right? Because we see all these beautiful Instagram shots and it's like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing swimming with pigs. But we don't really think about that side of the story. But yeah, when the pigs gotta go, the pigs gotta go. And if they're pooping in the water and you're kind of swimming with them, then it's all a part of it. That doesn't sound too appealing to us. The next reason we're kind of hesitant on going and swimming with the pigs is they do bite. We've heard stories and we actually seen videos of pigs being a little aggressive and they're kind of biting at you even from behind you know you don't see a pig behind you and you're feeding one and one will come up behind you and kind of nip you so it's kind of like eh. yeah i definitely don't want to be looking over my shoulder again this is just um reasons that i'm concerned about maybe if we do go our experience will be completely different just like swimming with sharks right you come with your reservations and concerns and then after it's all and done and over with you're like wow i want to do it again so maybe if we do go swimming with the pigs next time it will change our mind but right now all these concerns are actually stopping us well the pricing above all will definitely have to go down because the pricing is just not justified for, for what you, the, activity, the activity that you are doing. And the last one is that these pigs are not, you know, the little baby pigs. These are actually hogs. These are big pigs. Well, there are hogs and massive farm pigs. So in most of the brochures that advertise you to go swim with the pigs, they show a beautiful woman holding this cute little baby pig and it's so cute and adorable and they're swimming in the water with their little feet and come to you with their little snouts. But in reality, Big. they are huge. <laughs> and the hugs tend to be really aggressive. Yeah. That's why the tours that actually do have little piglets, they don't even let them on the beach because the little piglets are not trained uh, to get the food from you. They're not trained in the water and the hugs bully the little piglets as well. So in closing, that is the five reasons we won't be swimming with the pigs this time. Maybe things will change in the future, but hey, if you've done it before, let us know, drop a comment below. Let us know what your experience was like uh, and whether good or bad and share it with others um, I'm sure a lot of people would love to know thank you so much for watching and as usual just, just be, be out, out with us, us.